between my eyes What do the find? Came out better on the other side See life's like a peach if you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. And this is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top experts teach you what really works to boost your business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, where entrepreneurs of six, seven, eight figure businesses Come together live and in person to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. And check out Rise25.com. It's run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran. It's application only. Today, I'm really excited. We have Brad Weimert. He started Easy Pay Direct in 2009, and it's an online credit card processing company for high-level e-commerce businesses. They especially help high-volume businesses who are susceptible to consumer disputes, the Easy Pay Direct platform currently serves more than 60,000 merchants, including Infusionsoft, Digital Marketer, and so many more. Brad, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. So talk about the infrastructure a little bit. It, this seems like a very complicated business. <laughs> okay, what kind of staffing like positions do people do you need for to run this? Yeah, um, you have to have development. Um, so you, you have to be ha- have to have developers, um, and past that we have uh, marketing, yeah. um, operations, customer service, uh, functionally customer service. We, they are we call them merchant support specialists, um, and then we have two different roles for the boarding process. So when somebody is just getting started, yeah. we have new client specialists talk to them. And it's somebody that is specifically trained to do, um, uh, they, those people have also done support. So that's the chain is they go from support. Um, if they're not on the marketing or development side of the business, uh, they're trained to go through support, then they're a new client specialist, and then they get tested into um, being a certified payment specialist. Um, and the new client specialists work with brand or work with people right on the front end. So they'll assess your business model, your products, what you're doing, look at your website, make sure all the T's are crossed, I's are dotted, and then they'll move you to a new client spe- or to a certified payment specialist. How did you come up uh, with that structure? Yeah, how did you come up with that structure? Yeah, you know, I, I think that I think that what we realized was. Um, There are, there are a lot of nuances to e-commerce and to different marketing models and different businesses and where a lot of people fall short or get into trouble with merchant accounts is from not getting set up the right way on the front end. Mm. But it is, it, it is so, it's so, it's almost impossible for, it's just so difficult to understand every single business model out there, right? I mean, there are we we talk to just this litany of different type uh, of different types of businesses from you know Nutra to adult to information products to seminar companies to payday loans to I, just they're it's all amazing. so different right yeah. yeah in the marketing models some of them there's tons of overlap right but uh, like the adult space is fascinating because they are it's so competitive they are on the forefront of innovation with marketing all the time mm. because they have to be. Um, and you know your moral judgments be whatever they are, but the marketing models involved in that space are always cutting edge. Yeah. Um, so our certified payment specialists, what we realize is they need to they need to know their shit. Like they need to know everything. So we train them on different business models, um, different industries. Uh, you know, all of the nuances that pertain to the legal elements of it, et cetera, et cetera. So there, and it's it's crazy. I mean, we you look at our reviews online, or look at you know, client feedbacks, et cetera. Uh, it's overwhelmingly positive, and that's why it's because we've got a super high touch, uh, really educated staff that can help them, and that's super atypical it's in the hard. payment space. Yeah. What was your first hire? Uh, first hire was Gordon Williams, who is a certified payment specialist, um, and I was at the time in a uh, you know little two-room office in uh, downtown Ann Arbor, Michigan. 
Um, we're in Austin, Texas now. Uh, and he was, I think before that, he was selling windows, um, functionally door to door. How did you know you were ready for that first hire? I, I was not. I did not have the money for it. And I just, I just <laughs> felt like I needed, I needed somebody else to do some stuff. Uh, you know, I just you're wearing, you're wearing a hundred hats at the same time, right. uh, and trying to figure out what to do, and specifically doing client follow up and sales when you're trying to actually build an infrastructure. Very difficult. It's a terrible, oh, it's a terrible yeah. combination. I mean, because you're going to drop the ball somewhere, and it's usually you drop it with a client, but you. you can't you can't do that right you, you have to and so that's been one of the um, one of the tenants of the business now is the clients come first period if even if I told you to do something else you get a call from a client the client comes first like that's 100% through the organization because you have to like it just it's it's your brand yeah. you know so Brad, I have a few more questions but what do you consider some of the milestones of easy pay direct um, you know, one of the, the big ones early on was, uh, uh, integrating with having a fully integrated application process. So when you're working with, you know, 30 banks, um, and you're trying to set up multiple accounts for people, the traditional way that this happens and this happens with our other, all our competitors, et cetera, is you manually fill out a bunch of different applications. And that is a, it's just tremendously it's a time painful consuming. process. Yeah. Oh, m much less like just super irritating. And, um, so getting, uh, our online application is called EMAP. It's the electronic merchant application portal and getting EMAP up and running was, and now we're on, I don't know, version 11 or something. Um, but getting that up and running for the first time was sort of miraculous. Uh, we and Gordon was Gordon Williams was present when we did that because um, that that was my first objective. So you know I, I got this got the sales guy on, yeah. got him to cover clients, and then I cr uh, crushed that out and finished that. And so today it's really funny because we have every time we have a little quirk or you know something that isn't working perfectly or somebody wants to do something differently, people staff you hear staff vocalizing that. And Gordon will inevitably reach out to me in the back end and be like, "Man, they have no idea. <laughs> they have no idea what we're we are filling it out on stone tablets and sending yeah, it." Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So now it's you have one online application, and once we get that, we can, we screen it internally. Everything's laid out easily for us, so we can do it quickly, and then we can hit all the banks, um, in in the order that we want to, yeah. but on the back end. So it sounds like putting systems in place, whether it's that or whatever it is, has been has been huge. Mm -hmm. It's all. It was also the biggest lesson because it's. Uh, the systems are the only thing that uh, it's what holds the whole thing together. Yeah. 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 I can go on a rabbit hole on this. I'm not going to because I'm really interested in the, the software and the systems that you use around the business. I know there's many questions I won't be able to ask, but you have an amazing process for actually hiring, which we won't get to. Um, but since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask, Brad, what's been the lowest moment and what's been the proudest moment for you? Um, the lowest moment is tough. Because um, I know you've made some probably big sacrifices uh, with building this business. You know, because you kind of smile when you're like, "This was not a uh, quick money business. It's a real slow relationship by relationship business." Yeah, um, I think that you know, I don't know about lowest, um, yeah. but the most challenging time yeah. in, in the business was and kind of one of the scariest uh, actually I was gonna say going into significant debt you know it was just putting everything on a card but it was actually it was actually just before that so it was actually before I made the commitment to go into debt and when I was sort of terrified with the decision of it and it was hey can I do this and yeah. I, you know I don't I don't even talk to myself that in those words um, but ultimately that was the feeling Right. You know, it was the, um, I'm afraid to put uh, the, I think the initial, the initial time I cranked, uh, essentially a loan cranked on my credit card was maybe 40 grand or 50 grand. And I just remember thinking, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I can do that. Right. Uh, and once I did it, uh, there was no, no choice. Once I did it, it was like, <laughs> all right, well, now we're going. 
Um, but I think that that I think that decision making process yeah. um, and kind of the the self talk and the internal dialogue at that point yeah um, that was probably the most challenging time. What pushed you over the edge to say yes? You think? Um, you know, because that's such yeah. a such a tough moment, right? Yeah. Um, I think I. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I think that I, uh, I know what was going on in my life, and that was that I, I had a, I had a real estate education company, and we were doing seminars, teaching people how to invest in real estate. Which, by the way, is why I got involved in the the, the high risk space specifically, right? Because we had problems with merchant accounts. Yeah, so I had to know. You had a pain point, yeah. Oh, crazy! Uh, that's why I built the whole company, really. But after I got out of that, I went and climbed some mountains in. The Swiss Alps, which I was totally ill-equipped for. Um, I th- thankfully, I had um, a Carl Drew, who is a very good friend and crazy adventurer, um, there to keep me safe. Uh, but I think through that process, oh uh, yeah, through that process, I think I got back from that, um, and my mindset was that it was uh, time to do this. Um, and I'm sure that we could build. You know, we could. Uh, build some correlation there but the ultimately you know adventure serves a couple purposes and um, one of them is uh, to show you what you're capable of yeah you know? yeah and you have to when you're when you're literally facing death you're literally yeah. standing on the edge of a mountain thinking yeah. all right well if I slip if I misstep yeah. if the wind blows too hard that's yeah, it's, it's I'm over yeah yeah um, I think that it helps you uh, puts things know, in perspective. Reframe. Yeah. Reframe who you are. Yeah. Um, so proudest. Uh, proudest uh, was so far. Besides that proud- trophy behind you. I don't know what that <laughs> is. But. That's those are all those are all from Vector Marketing, and I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I can't throw them away. It's like it looks like you won like the PJ Tour or something. I don't. Yep. No, I just, I just have no idea what else to do with them. Uh, so, um, the proudest really was last year and, uh, last year, um, I had this realization, uh, I, you know, I was at, I was at an event, um, I think I was at, it, I can't remember what event I was at, but I was at an event and I just, I had this moment where I thought, man, like literally everything that is happening in life is founded on some relationship that I have. Mm-hmm. Um, the business stuff, the personal stuff, everything that I'm doing. Um, and you can, a fun game actually is to track that back mm-hmm. and think, hey, I'm doing this with this person. Well, how do I know this person? And you can think back, well, I only know them because I went to this dinner with these people mm-hmm. or you know, I was at this location with this person. Right. So if you didn't know this person, you wouldn't know them, wouldn't know this person, wouldn't have gotten into business. Right. Um, and it was that realization that that the driver is um, quality relationships and the depth of your relationships drive everything else. Um, so I know that that doesn't sound like you know an accomplishment, um, but the realization I think for me really really was an accomplishment. And I think that it's helped over time to guide my actions and adjust um, yeah. the goals that I'm after, the drivers. What's one of the best pieces of advice you've gotten? from one of those people that you built a relationship with? Um, the destination is not the outcome. It's a beacon. Hmm. So the goal that you're setting is not, it's not about hitting the goal. Yeah. That is just a guiding light, right? But the path through it is, and, and that, that specific phrase resonated with me. Yeah. But. Brad, this has been awesome. Thank you. I want. I have one last question, um, but before I ask it, where can people check you out online? Where should they go? Um, BradWeimer.com is me personally. It's Brad W E I M E R T dot com, mm-hmm. and uh, EasyPayDirect dot com. If you uh, do any sort of e-commerce, uh, you certainly should look at us. Yeah, EasyPayDirect dot com. Last question is um, has to be an adventure question, um, and I don't know if that's you on video, but there's some video of a kickball injury. Was that you? <laughs> that was the craziest video. I should clip it in 
It's the sickest thing, one of the sickest things I've ever seen. I think your leg is bent on a 90 degree angle where it shouldn't be. Yeah, it's totally bizarre, man. I actually, I, I, I keep, it's on my Facebook profile somewhere. Oh, is it? Okay. And, yeah, and I, uh, my, so my, my left leg, my foot hit, hit the third base bag and it was not a breakaway bag. So my foot hit the bag and my leg just kept going. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, it's so crazy. I, I just want to point that out because it's crazy. But, but <laughs> the, the craziest thing you've done or the scariest moment as an adventure. As an adventure? Yeah. Um, this, uh, the scariest moments for me involve heights because hmm. um, I'm, I'm just terrified of heights. You wouldn't uh, know that from the pictures on your, your page. You're like hanging off the side of a mountain why I do them uh, but uh, yeah the scariest things involve heights um, the uh, crazy I mean a really yeah I, crazy is such a, such a tough tough thing for me to isolate in my life um, but uh, I think um, really I think that uh, well they're climbing mountains is, yeah. is I didn't probably, know if there was one in particular that was like well, a seriously near death type of experience yeah. i mean i see you there were videos of you like doing i don't know loops in a airplane or something i mean there's a lot of crazy things that you do it sounds like but yeah i'm always trying to find new stuff man it's uh what's next can, what's uh, next on your list to do um next on my list is to compete in american ninja warrior really yep oh wow yep so i do a lot of rock climbing and uh Grip strength has a tremendous amount to do with that uh, yeah. specific obstacle course. Um, I've had some friends that have competed in it, and uh, I don't know. I, at some point, I, I feel like doing an Ironman, but I, I've done a bunch of other like really long endurance things. Uh, but I just there's a huge time commitment involved there. And, and endurance athletics, it's not really fun. Uh, <laughs> it's you know you get stuff out of it, but it's you know you're it's, it's a huge time commitment yeah. and it's grueling. Yeah, yeah. huge time. So American Ninja Warrior is just, I think it will bring out the kid in me a little bit. Yeah. And uh, and also just like the, you know, rugged dude. Like, yeah, just yeah. get it. <laughs> Brad, thank you so much. Uh, people should check out Easy Pay Direct. This was awesome. Thanks, Brad. Cool. Hey, thank you. <laughs> what I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out.